It's Money Monday, where we talk about easy to understand ways to improve your finances. And here to help us out is financial expert Paul Hood from Hood CPAs. We appreciate seeing you again, and thanks appreciate for the advice. Here, I know Greg. it's a busy time of year for you, so it's we, great. we know yeah. your time's valuable. Okay, sure. so the coronavirus is on everybody's mind. It's impacted the uh, the, the markets. Uh, sure. So one of our viewers, Michael, says, should I sell my investments and wait to get back into things when the market recovers? Well, it's kind of backwards, you know, mm -hmm. Craig. It depends on what type of investor you are. If you're if you're a speculative investor, if you're if you're a long-term investor, the reality is, when things are on sales, when you should buy. So, but we have this natural fear tendency when it comes to investments. When when in reality, when you buy a car, you want it to be on sale. When you buy groceries or gas, you want it to be on sale. But right now, things in the stock market are on sale. So, actually, I think it's better to. This is the time to buy not to sell. Psychologically, people do the exact opposite, they though. They, they kind of get scared and nervous, and they get out when they should be staying in. That's and right. Spending more, maybe right. upping their contribution. Exactly. Warren Buffett says, be fearful when other people are greedy, and greedy when other people are fearful. So it's time to be greedy, potentially. <laughs> All right. Wilma says, how do I start the process of setting up a budget? That's probably a question well, all of us probably need a budget, sure. but uh, it's one of those complicated things. It's like, okay, how do I get through those first few months? Because those are the hard months to get through on a budget. Well, it's just like anything, whether you're trying to get in shape or whatever, you have to measure where you're at today. The problem is, Craig, is most people have no idea where their money's going. So how do you do a budget if you don't know where your money's going? So what I teach people to do is take the next, the first two weeks, three weeks, month, and actually carry a piece of paper around and write down where all your money's going. Bring in 12 months worth of bank statements, 12 months worth of credit card statements, and inventory exactly where your money's going. Then we can decide where you want it to go. So the reality is, is you can't really start with where you want your money to go until you figure out where it's going already. And people need to understand that it may take a few months to get that Absolutely. figured out and don't stop after that first month because right. you will have to tweak it in some ways. Yeah, and it, everything is, you know, short-term pain is long-term gain. And so it's not going to be solved. It didn't, you didn't get in this situation overnight. You're not going to get out of it overnight as well. All right, let's move on to our next question. Um, Joe, is it smarter to buy or lease a car? Okay, well, Joe, it, it, it really depends on the, the car you're, you're buying or you're looking at, uh, how long you're going to take it. Um, the thing that I would look at at most situations is there's something called a residual value when you have a lease, which is what the leasing company is saying this car is going to be worth uh, at the end of the lease. Um, so if you're going to put a lot of miles on a car and you're, you, you don't get new cars very often, no, you generally should buy. If you're, especially if you're um, getting uh, a car every three, four years, two, three, four years, and you don't put very many miles on it, typically it's lease. Um, uh, we teach people, I teach people that the car is really part of the cash flow. So it's, it's not really an investment because it's going to go down. Mm -hmm. So you look at what is the cash flow. Which way are the payments cheapest, basically, Craig, as long as you're not going to go exceed the mileage limitations. Yeah, you exceed those, then that's you're, a big yeah, time cost. Yeah, they, they hit you good. Yep. All right, one more question. Is it smart to pay off my existing loans? Uh, Lana said she just inherited some money, wants to know what to do with it. Okay. Well, Craig, I get this question all the time. Um, and the reality is, is is again people's decisions their best decisions have gotten them where they're at today so what I recommend to people do is you bank that money don't do anything until we change the decision pattern that you're making it, because if you're in credit card debt if you're in up to your eyes in debt and you pay that off guess what your same decisions are there and so five years later you're gonna be back in debt Craig so we have to change the decision point just like if you're gonna lose weight change what you're eating then it will happen so don't pay off the debt until we change your decision making. So kind of press pause on things and exactly. think about it and maybe have an emergency fund in place then tackle some of Amen. that. Amen. That's right. right. That's right. All right. Thank you, sir. We appreciate Thanks, it. Craig. If you have a financial question you'd like to ask Paul next week, you can send them to money.